Hey, what's good, family? Just wanted to quickly go over some charts with you. In this video, we're going to be looking at the SPY and the QQQ. We are at some critical levels right now. We are at major pivot points for both. And should anything happen here, I want you to be prepared and know what is going on. So without further ado, let's talk about what we have here. All right, so here we are. We are looking at the SPY on a one-week chart. And as you can see, we have been respecting this trend since October 2023. And, and as it is right now, we are currently sitting at this trend line. We have earnings and we have news and we have a lot of data coming our way. So the way that it's looking, if the trend continues, if we keep getting negative earnings, if you know things are unfavorable and something doesn't change soon, it looks like there is a good chance we are going to come down and break. And this is not the first time this has happened. Uh, just taking a look at the last time this happened, uh, we can see back here from October 2020 to about January of 2022, we were in an uptrend. And then once we broke the uptrend, we kind of trended down until we reached the bottom in October of 2022 ultimately falling from the time we broke to the bottom, the market fell 25% and, and the SPY fell $115 from the break of the trend line to the low. And, and it did so over about 18 months. So just want to let you know, just want to put this on your radar, pay attention to earnings, pay attention to where we are, know where we are. Uh, once again, we are on the week chart. So Anything can kind of happen this week. We have been kind of trading in this kind of 542 to 547 range. The alternative to this is, hey, we could come up here, continue the trend, make new highs, you know, head for 570. And if that doesn't happen, look for us to come down like this. And, it, and of course, it won't come down in a straight line like that. So that's the chart for the SPY. And just to kind of give potential on what a 25% pullback would look like from here. A 5% pullback would bring us to about 515. A 10% pullback from here would be about 489. And if we get a full on 25% pullback like we did the other year, that would bring us to about 408 on the SPY. And actually that lines up right here at the bottom of this candle right here, which appears to be a key level. And, and if we actually look at the QQQ, things actually look similar with this as well. As we're sitting here at all time highs on the weekly chart, the support on the QQQ appears to be right here around 460. If earnings don't go well, if things don't turn around for the economy, if, if we don't start getting anything that's really going to push stocks up, hey, it can get grim. Once again, I'm not making this video to scare you. I am just making this video to prepare you for what is potentially ahead. Because just like there is downside below this, there is also upside if we get a rejection. But we have already touched once here, twice here, and usually it is the third or fourth touch that will make a difference. But if, if you enjoy the video or learn anything, be sure to smash the like button. And for some reason you're new here and haven't already, please be sure to subscribe. And last but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Mayo signing off and I want to change your life.